Hi, I'm Brett Manning. Welcome to the free vocal tip of the week. Close, but not too close. This is the vocal cords. Air blows through them, they suck together. They it's like FT if you suck in and they begin to vibrate. The if they don't quite come together, it's like a, a breathy saxophone, like a if I said, hey, hey, the vocal cords obviously very apart. Hey, I have to bring them together to make sound. So close, but not too close, means compression without straining. Many of you have heard Dave Brooks all, already talking about that, bah, bah, that's that edgy thing. When Freddie Mercury said, Mama, just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. What I'm doing is, Close, but not too close. Ah, that's the chords come together almost holding your breath. Ah, how close can I be without straining? Well, if I'm like this, can we talk? That straining and my nose throat starts to bulge. When my throat starts to bulge and the sound becomes so muffled, then that's too close. Ah, straining. But if it's just crying, natural free crying, Ah, 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 ah. That cry gives an epic whine. It's not much different from what you hear Pavarotti doing. Uh, Pavarotti says, Oh, uh, ah. That cry is what pulls his chords together. But I can also make it buttery. Ha, ah, ha. Ah. There's less squeeze. Ah. If I don't squeeze enough, it flips into falsetto. Ah, ah, ah. So learn instinctively, intuitively, how to compress in, back off. Compress in, back off. Here are the three warning signs. One, the vibrato begins to wobble. Ah, it's too squeezed. Two, the tone gets muffled. Uh, uh, can we talk? My son, he breaks my heart. That's me with my voice falling apart because my throat is so tight. I've had to fix voices. Hyperphonation, hypophonation, not enough. Huh, huh, not enough chord closure. Hyper, uh, too much, right? This right here where I'm talking, fine. The chords are vibrating very freely, but this is awful. So I've had to work with people with hyperphonation, really tense chords. And for them, I'm making them going trying to get airflow across to them. People who are, hey, ah, I'm gonna have them going B, G, J, D. Consonants that provide stoppage close those chords friendly. Then you begin to vibrate the vocal cord after that. Anything can be overdone. In the voice, we have these balance between pharyngeal, between both, both resonance, pharyngeal resonance, head resonance, and we have chord closure. Breathy, squeezed, middle resonance. All of these coordinations are effective, done part and parcel, but in the end, you must learn to balance them all and work them together. If I say, if I say, ma, ma, there's not too much, uh, there's not too much, oh, there's not too much, too much, too much uh, mouth, there's not too much squeeze, there's not too much, uh. it's a balanced sound right in between. And if you look at my face, ha, hey, ho, I'm pretty relaxed singing into it. But these counterbalances, too squeezed, too breathy, are the thing that I'm always after to draw me back. And that's the thing that you as the singer 
must learn to master. Thank you.